All right, Shalom, Shalom, Yasharala. This is another GMS Riley collaboration once again through the spirit of Pavi Hawa by Shem I'm the brother Naquam. And I'm the brother Naquam. And before we go any further with this Lord's with an edifying lesson, we want to give all honor and all glory and all praises to our Heavenly Father and to His only begotten Son, Yahweh. Yahweh. Bahashem. Bahashem. Yahweh Shah. Yahweh Shah. Bahashem. Bahashem. Raka. Raka. Kodash. Kodash. And next up, double honors to our apostles and other bishops of Great Millstone, who still go out there in the highways and hedges and feed us with 100% truth according to the Bible and Ruel and Shalom to all the Akims that's out there in the four corners of the earth pushing this truth in the name of Yahweh Bashim Shah out of fear and sincerity of heart you know and pretty much this lesson is going to be going into how you mockers or scoffers is going to get judgment man although the scripture tells us that there's going to be scoffers and scorners and unbelievers in the days that we're living in but we're going to read about it and then we're going to also read your judgment. So start off with that first piece up. Uh, this is Jude chapter 1, verse 17. Mm -hmm. But beloved, remember ye the words which were spoken before the apostles mm -hmm. of our Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach. Mm -hmm. Verse 18. How that they told you mm -hmm. there shall be markers. In the last time, that's right. Who shall walk after their own ungodly lust? Exactly. See, in the last time, we're also living in the last time in these times, man. You know, and we definitely got scoffers and scorners, although they're uh, decreasing little by little because the prophecies are popping off like popcorn. Okay, but they're still around. All right. And they go walking after their own ungodly lust, man, uh, asking stupid questions. You know, coming up with their different philosophies, man. Okay? That's un that's their ungodly lust. And lust goes into the desire, man. It ungodly meaning unjust, unrighteous, man. You know? So that's what these scoffers and scorners or mockers are doing. Even those that know that they're Israelites, man, they're scoffing and scorning at the true men of the Lord of GMS and the other camp affiliates, man. Read that over one more time. Yep. This is Jude, chapter 1. You start verse 17 again or hit the point 18? Uh, hit the point. Uh, yep. Jude said the one verse 18, how the day told you mm -hmm. there should be mockers in the last time yep. who should walk after their own ungodly lust. Right, yep, see? In the, as we're living in the last days of the last days, man, you see? You still got a lot of scoffers or scorners or mockers. You know what I'm saying? That are uh, coming with their un their unrighteous uh, desires, man. Which is what uh, teaching that false doctrine, man, and broadcasting it. All right. And there's a judgment behind that, which we gonna get to those judgments. Uh, that was in that one. Read Second Peter the third chapter. I got you. Mm-hmm. Second Peter chapter three, verse three. Yup. Knowing this first. And it should come in the last days, mm -hmm. scoffers, mm -hmm. walking after their own lust. Yep. And saying, where is the promise of his coming? Mm -hmm. For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation. So they're, they're really unbelievers, man. They don't believe that what the, they don't believe the prophecies that we're bringing out according to the Bible. That's why they're mocking and scoffing at it, man. As a matter of fact, I got a, uh, that two definitions. I'm gonna read the one off the screen in the dictionary, and it reads: It says, "Who is the scoffer?" It says, "The scoffer is also called a scorner or mocker. He is defined as a man or a woman characterized by contempt." He mocks at more principles like the law, statutes, and commandments, willfully ignoring them in his own conduct, but still seeking to correct them in others. You know? So they pretty much are hypocrites, man. They're pretenders. They don't really believe, man. You know? Because that's what the word hypocrite means a pretender or actor. It says, This person is best known. By what comes out of his mouth. It says he mocks, he scorns, 
he scoffs, man. You know, and that's with the men and women, man. You know, they're a bunch of demons, man, of our people, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. That's why the majority of our people is going to get destroyed, man. They're going to get deleted. It says, uh, and I got one more definition. It says a scoffer in this uh, Nelson's Bible Illustrated Dictionary. It says um, a scoffer is unlike the good man who walks in the path of wisdom. The scoffer is a wicked man who follows the path of folly. And folly is, is said in great dignity. And that's exactly the mindset of our people. It says refusing to listen to the wisdom of others. Now, who is the others? The, 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 the apostles and the elders of GMS and the, and the camp affiliates, man. They refuse to hearken into the knowledge of wisdom to understand the scriptures that we bring out, man. And the, the brother's about to read it. That's where it's going to be a judgment. So bring out that second Chronicles. Gotcha. This second Chronicles chapter 36. Verse, I'm going to start at verse 15. Yup. And the Father, and the Lord, Yahweh Shemar Shai, of their fathers, sent to them by his messengers. The messengers being messengers. the servants of prophets. Read on. Rising up be time. Meaning early. And sending. Mm -hmm. Because he had compassion on his people. Which are the Israelites, you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. Because really, uh, the doors of mercy are closing, man. By the Lord still having us out there in the highways and hedges and teaching this word, the 100% truth, you know. The Lord is still showing our people some type of mercy, but we know the only ones that's going to hearken and take heed is the elect. And that's who that's it's all about on this side. We know. And on his dwelling place. Yup. Verse 16. Mm -hmm. But they mock the messengers of Yahweh by Shema Washah. They mock. They scoff, man. As I read, they willfully ignore it. Okay? They're willfully ignorant of it. You know, so they mock the service, the prophet. That's what they do. They talk. They, they they call us all type of insults, man. Okay, all right, but it, it's it's all right because Lord Yahweh Shah says, "Bless when that happens to you, man." Read on. It said, "And despise his words." And the word "despise" means to hate. And what's the words of the Lord? The Bible, like the Scripture says in Proverbs, "Correction is grievous unto him that forsaketh the way." So the hypocrites, the unbelievers, you know, hey. They're going to get uh, a cut to the heart, man, which is furious at what we bring out according to the scriptures. Read on. And misuse his prophets. Which misused in my Bible, it says scoff that. Okay. Read on. It says, and misuse his prophets. Mm -hmm. And to the wrath of the Lord, Yahweh by Shemar Shai, rose against his people. Yep. Till there was no remedy. That's why you see a whole lot of deletions going on. And then when that Jacob's trouble, when uh, when uh, when that martial law kicks off, man, a whole lot of our people are gonna get deleted, man. You see, because that's the wrath of Yahweh by Shem Shah. and the ultimate judgment is gonna be those missiles, man, and also the laser beams from the chariots with the war are gonna cause UFOs, man. And there ain't gonna be no cure, there ain't gonna be no remedy, man. There's no way that you can escape this destruction. Okay, referring to the two thirds of our people, which is the majority. Read the next one, Baba Kasha. Yep. Second Chronicles chapter 15, verse 13. Yup. The whosoever would not see the Lord God of Israel yep. should be put to death. That's right. Whether small or great. Yep. Whether man or woman. Whether man or woman, whether you're known, whether you're not known, whether you're homeless, whether you're wealthy or rich. Of our people, if you're not seeking your Allah by Shem Yahweh Shah through the service of the prophets, you're not taking heed. The scripture says that you're going to get deleted, man. Whether you're a man or whether you're a woman. And that's heavy because in the definition, as it says on the screen, it says uh, he is defined as a man or a woman, man. And so a scoffing is a man and women, you see? And, and, and they're not exempt from the judgment of Yahweh by Shem Shah. All right? That was under that precept? Right. Bring out that uh, Zechariah. This is Zechariah chapter 13, verse 8. Yup. And it should come to pass... Then all the land, said the Lord, Yahweh Wah, Yahweh Shai, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. And that land is Babylon and Great, which is America, man. You see? Two parts therein shall be cut off and die, which is the majority of our people, man. 
Why? Because they scoffers and scorners and unbelievers, man. You know? Like the scripture says in 2nd Edges 15 and 4, all the unfaithful is going to die of their unfaithfulness, man. So we don't worry about it because we know the judgment of the majority of our people is going to be a whole bunch of deletion, a whole bunch of torturous, gruesome deletions, man. Read on. But the third should be left therein. But the elect, which is the third, is going to be left therein, meaning they're going to get protected and delivered, man. And that's what we're hoping to be, all right? To be uh, preserved and be delivered from that destruction the Lord is going to be bringing and as well as protected even more uh, in these bad times, these evil days that we're living in, man. And it's only going to get even worse. Bring out that last one, Bubba Kasha. Mm -hmm. You want to aim us, right? Oh, nah, bring out that revelation. Oh, so I can, so I can, so I can. It's all good, brother. 21 and 8. 21 and 8. Yep. Revelation chapter 21, verse 8. Yep. But the fearful yep. and unbelieving mm -hmm. and the abominable yep. and the murderers mm -hmm. and the homemongers mm -hmm. and the sorcerers and the idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone which is the second death. So that's what the majority of our people are going to get, man, for them being scoffers and scorners. Because what the brothers just listed in that scripture, that sounds up a scoffer and a scorner, man. They're unbelievable. They're, 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 they're murderers of our, of our character, all right? And also, you know, um, they're, they're a bunch of uh, sorcerers because uh, idolatry, uh, stubbornness is, uh, is, is, is the sin of witchcraft, man. You know? The unbelieving, which is a.k.a. a scoffer and scorner, all of them is going to uh, be a part of two-thirds, and they're all going to be uh, 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 de de deleted, trying to keep it PG, deleted, and that that, that fire, man, that second death, which is going to be from those missiles, man, all right, which is the ultimate judgment of Yahweh Hashem Yahashah that he's going to put on the two-thirds, and as well as these heathens that's here in the in Babylon and Great, which is America. That was internet. Uh, so, hey, Lord's one, this is edifying through the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Yahushua, by Shem Rakakwadash. You know, me and the brother to come once again through the spirit. Lord's one, until next time we say Shalom. Shalom.